This is Hayden Sparks with Jill Glover, a member of the State Republican Executive Committee and chair of the Legislative Priorities Committee. Jill, thank you so much for joining us today. I am so glad to be here with you. Thank you. We've had a busy convention yesterday. Republicans elected Matt Rinaldi as the chair and Dana Myers as the vice chair. Yes. We've also had debate over the future strategy of the party. I'd like to ask you to comment on the possibility of having a closed primary in Texas where only registered Republicans are able to vote in the GOP primary. What are your thoughts on that? You know, Hayden, I think that is very much a debate worth having because we we know that Democrats are coming and voting in our primaries. We, we have, we've, we've caught them, right? <laughs> and we've got evidence of that. And that shouldn't be, and that can definitely affect the, the types of candidates that are chosen in the primaries. And we really want our Republican voters um, to, to have the ability to express their will for their chosen candidates and not obviously members of the, the other party um, and of the progressive left. So I think it's very much a debate worth having. There's pros and cons. We need to look at other states that have done that, see um, perhaps things things that, um, that haven't worked well there that we could do different in order to make it um, make uh, closed primaries work better here. So um, it, I'm, I'm really pleased to see us going in that direction and looking at that option. Yes. Makes sense. And as we just mentioned, we have new leadership. Do you think they would be open to advancing this and making it a priority among all the other things that are being worked on? Yes, I think so. I really think there is momentum growing for closed primaries. And um, yes, I, 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 think, I think that will be the case. You said recently in an update to the party that the landscape has changed a lot since 2020. We have a lot of different issues that are presenting uh, many social issues yes. that we didn't have before, such That's as right. children being at drag shows and other other things that Republicans view as a, as a problem that need to be addressed. The legislature has only 140 days. What are some top two or three items you think they'll want to address right out of the gate? Yes, you know, looking at um, the Legislative Priorities Committee this week absolutely um, indicated that there are there are so many issues and, and and they were frankly they were having a hard time kind of narrowing things down and you will see that the priorities this time look a little different than the priorities two years ago in that they will be longer and we've always historically liked to have shorter priorities but this time because as you said so many especially social things um, that have just popped up um, but also things affecting our liberties and our freedoms like you know the uh, the vaccine mandates and um, government overreach and you know um, the border is still an incredibly important issue but also property taxes you know people who have opened their bill in the last month um, are shocked at the increases in property tax we have got to address that um, and then certainly education and the drag queen story hours and the um, drag brunches you know it, we we the attacks on our children are just absolutely unprecedented. And so we've got um, a gender modification ban is, is still back, um, of course, among those priorities, but also adding protections for children um, in public schools in terms of the sex education curriculum, um, the, the gender pronouns, um, all of these other things that even just two years ago were not so overwhelming and prominent. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about issues that are important to many of the conservatives in this convention hall and of course any political convention there's going to be clash and uh, discussions about the future and priorities of the party yes what is your sense as someone who's actively involved in rpt what is your sense of the unity in the party are people more united or republicans more united or is there a little bit more disagreement and clash this time around. You know what? I've been real encouraged this week because I do see more unity. I think because things um, are so serious in terms of what is coming down from Washington D.C. and you know the the um, the real push that we are seeing to diminish our Second Amendment rights and limit our liberties and attack our children. I think all Texas Republicans are uniting around fighting back um, and not just being de defensive, but really beginning to go on the offensive. You know, we, we as Republicans, we tend to be more individualistic. We tend to be, uh, we try to, um, to be gracious and work with the other side. And quite honestly, I think that in many ways, um, that has been a mistake in that 
we, we are in a real war. We are in a real battle. And we have got to be um, firmer and tougher, and we've got to protect our kids, and we have to protect our liberties. And we, we're not going to be able to do that um, in the ways that we have in the past. We've got to be harder. We've got to take a harder line. And so at this convention, yes, I have seen um, Republicans, even on the committees, you know, there, there may be some differences in process, um, but in terms of where we want to be, um, I believe that we are absolutely all united. And I think one of the best indicators of that is the fact that our chair did not have an, a, a challenger. Matt Rinaldi was elected unanimously. We had three really good candidates for vice chair. Any one of those three women would have done a good job. I'm thrilled that Dana Meyer um, was elected. Um, she, in particular, wants to support our legislative priorities um, and work to ban gender modification and protect our kids. So she got my vote uh, because of her commitment to um, to work on that in particular with me. But but the other two candidates would have done the same thing. So I, I think um, we are really in good shape coming out of this convention. Jill, our time is too short, but it's always a pleasure when our paths cross. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.